We figured it out. Yay. Hey, Baka. How are you? Caltot, what's up, dude? Merry Christmas to all you folks. What better way to say Merry Christmas to your friends than to stream some Mass Effect for them? Right, Cappy? Yeah. Also, there might be a point during Mass Effect 3 where I need to have a stream before the end of the game where I play multiplayer. Because you get point you get like you get ratings for doing multiplayer and the ratings actually affect the single player game. Oh, weird. Yeah. It's not a big deal. It's it's all multiplayer is all a bunch of players versus the computer. Ready? Yeah. So we just landed on Mars. Oh, that looks so much better. The size of everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you said... Oh, yeah, you didn't do any of your points. All right, Caden. Let's do me first. Um, we're at Shockwave. Costs five points to upgrade right now. I didn't do a lot of pull. You did a lot of Reeve. I did a lot of Reeve. Let's upgrade Reeve. To, whoa. To that point. Fitness. We can have increased health bonus and barrier bonus or increased melee damage. Nah, we're gonna get shields. Hey Amy, what's up lady? Alright, I got ten more points. Let's go into Singularity. Lift damage, inflict 27 damage per second, or increase the recharge speed by 30%. Recharge still, well, recharge is 1.38 seconds, or 1.27, so I'd rather take the, the dot damage. That seems much more useful. And... Reeve, let's get another Reeve. Increase power duration by 40%, or the impact radius by 3 meters. Do power, power strength. Okay. <clears throat> so that's everything for me. Who is this? This is Caden. Overload. Oh, cryoblast. Yeah, dude. Let's get him the base in all of these. Hold. Yeah, and then just hold there. I'll do the same with him. They all have their base abilities to a decent level, and then we'll decide what we're going to upgrade past that. Okay. Did you text your mom? Uh. I know you just talked to I her. I just talked to her, but yeah, let me text her real quick. Yeah, you didn't actually... I told her before, the, before 2 o'clock. Yeah. She's gonna be like, you didn't text me. Yeah, she's gonna get on my case. And she's gonna be right. She she would absolutely be right. And just so you guys know, I full on am gonna be eating soup soon. <laughs> I've got some soup over here because I didn't want to wait to eat lunch. I just wanted to start playing. So if I take a minute to answer or I sound like I have a mouthful of food, I do. <laughs> okay. Damn, that's a huge storm. Looks a lot bigger in person. Pretty average for Mars, actually. I'm glad you're so optimistic. Yeah, we've got Reapers invading Earth, the station here is offline. A little dust storm seems like the least of our worries. Fair enough. He's not wrong. Yeah. What's that? Sure thing. He's Alliance. Sergeant Reeves. Didn't put up a fight before he died. Something's not right here. Keep a low profile till we know what's going on. Roger that. Uh, change loadout. Ha 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 ha. Okay. <laughs> this is my this is my SMG, huh? I'm gonna go with.
that. I'm going to stick with that guy. And then... Let's get an assault rifle, too. What assault rifles do I already have unlocked? Oh, there's my baby! But it, what? Do you have to balance the weight? It's like you're already getting heavy. Yeah, but this is all it does is reduce the, the recharge rate of your abilities. Oh, okay. Oh, I love the typhoon. All right, we're going to do that. This is a shotgun. We're gonna get, who is this? This is James, right? Yeah, this is James. Actually, we'll give James this gun. I'll go with something a little smaller. Let's go with that. There we go. Now it's now I'm only plus five percent. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. That thing's standard. What's this thing fire like? Okay, so it's click fire. Caden, you gotta stop shooting that thing right in front of your face, dude. Those guys were Cerberus, weren't they? Sure look like it. Cerberus? What are they doing here on Mars? Good question. You don't know. I'm not with them anymore, Caden, if that's what you're asking. It wasn't, but you have to admit, it's a bit, uh, convenient. Fuck you, Caden. Should have left your ass and had you be the one to get Look out. Ah. Hey, Mom. Yeah, just a few vehicles. Must have had help from the inside. You could be right. No way they could take this facility with anything less than a full battalion. Shepard, I need a straight answer. About what? Do you know anything about why Cerberus is here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You work for them, for God's sakes. How am I not supposed to think that? You just said in the field that you had no idea. I'll say it was a temporary alliance. We join forces to take down the Collectors. That's it. There's more to it. They rebuilt you from the ground up. They give you a ship. Resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. It's just that... A... Uh, we've been through a lot. I shouldn't have to explain myself to you, Caden. 
<laughs> That's a big like. Yeah. Please trust me. I do. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. <laughs> Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. Liara. I was worried when the reports came in. They hit Earth hard. Yeah. It was hard to leave like that. Kate, <clears throat> I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Hackett ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here? On Mars? In the Prothean archives, yes. We're just learning this now? We've known about the archives for decades. Why now? Process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Hackett knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my resources as a shadow broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. My search led me here. Hackett got me access to the archives and kept me updated on your status. I meant to come see you. Hold on, but... I just got a text. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> hey, Stan, what's up, dude? Yeah, your mom already wished you a happy Christmas. Merry Christmas, whatever. Happy Birthmas. No, she's thanking me for the banana pudding again. Oh. Telling her, shut up, I'm playing video games. No. <laughs> Shouting at her, apparently. All caps. Uh, I'll say you did the right thing. I was under house arrest. There wasn't much I could do to help you anyway. I suppose you're right. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we need. Seems too good to be true. I guess I'll believe it when I see it. Where do we find this weapon? It's not a weapon, not yet. It's plans for a device, a blueprint. It's more than we had a minute ago. How do we get it? The archives are just across that tramway. Assuming Cerberus hasn't locked it down. What are they after? Yeah, they seem hell-bent on catching you. They want what I'm here for. What we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers are... Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the archives. We got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the shuttle. If Cerberus beats us to the archives, I need you covering the exits. But... Now, Lieutenant. Miranda's there. I'm shooting her in the I butt. We should take cover. Looks like they found us. I turned the music up, but obviously not high enough. Sorry. I muted it. 
That should be a little better. God damn, Caden. Okay, he's he's losing that gun as soon as I can get a chance. Yeah. All of them. You need to upgrade good. Liara as well. Let's find a way up. Actually, that's a good point. Yeah. Probably do need to yeah. upgrade Liara. Yeah. And then change the weapon. I can't change his weapon here, but I'll change it later. Oh, okay. I'm already past that point. But yeah, his weapon is definitely getting changed. What weapon is he using? I don't know the shake the world weapon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think I've ever used whatever the hell he's using. All right. Music, why are you so quiet? I have you at fifty percent. All right, music at a hundred percent. Maybe music is just innately quiet in this game. Yeah, see, that's not bad. That still feels ambient. All right, so now we got to get upstairs. They've sabotaged the elevator. There's gotta be another way up. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, as soon as... God damn it. Okay. As soon as I can change his gun, I will. How'd Cerberus get into the facility? Not sure. One minute we were getting reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubtful, but I suppose anything's possible. Shepard, take cover. Damn it, Caden. I don't know what gun that is, that gun sucks! Trying to use the cane. Oh, what the hell, dude? Tickle. <laughs> to the pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but... Did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Eva Corre. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. Looks like they died trying to claw their way out. This is brutal. 
even by Cerberus standards. <laughs> Why are you so cute? Uh, who the hell is the woman messing with my fires? files? Get her out of here. I won't have my system messed up by some wannabe expert who'll be gone next week. Damn strangers... Damn strangers who think they know it all, but don't care about what you're really trying to achieve here. Dr. Eva, seriously? Don't you remember what happened last time? Over there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Can't be so adorable? Nah. <laughs> Level 32! We need to pressurize the room first. There we go. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Uh, hey, there's a recording of what happened here. Security station, come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor, I'll get you a report as soon as... Guess we know how Cerberus got in. Bitch. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the Reapers. Don't blame yourself. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't fix? Come on, Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. I have a lot to live for. When there's so much at stake, I just think about what I'd lose if I fail. That's a terrible burden. We'll stop them, Liara. Together. Thanks. I want to believe you. Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station through there. Good. Let's move. Ha, okay. I want to try that gun myself, but I don't want to try it right now. Try it when you can, like, switch it out easily. Yeah, later I'll be able to do that. What gun did somebody say they loved earlier? The Valkyrie? Where's the Valkyrie? Oh, that's the one I'm currently using. Yeah. Okay. I like it, too. I think it was Mr. Kaltot, maybe? I think it might have been Caltot, yeah. Alright, Caden, get off of that gun, because holy crap, dude. Uh, I tell you what, why don't you use... Why don't you use the Harrier? And then you can use... Yeah. That's about me. He said it was him. Yeah. <laughs> You use that, and use this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I want to ask how you're doing, since I hear you guys are propagating germs in the shape of cold down there in storage. Uh, look, I know you're... Prothean doodads are fascinating and all, but you guys have got to stop burning the midnight oil and keep regular sleeping hours, honestly. Anyway, I forwarded you your last findings on HQ on Earth. Someone is depressurizing the area, warn security. 
So he's in the middle of typing something up. Aha! Oh, they got shields? Yeah, dude. Dude, stop hitting him. Yep, you can shoot through the eye hole. Nice. Isn't it? Yeah. It's pretty awesome. It's even better when you have a sniper rifle, and you shoot through the eye hole, and you just see their head explode. <laughs> and you're like, ah, eat that, bitch. Damn, why biotic's so good? I don't know. You're welcome. the smoke what is grenade and why is it not G did you have to open up grenades I don't, I don't think so. Plus oh. Grenade. We got five. Alright, cool. Okay. Yeah, I thought I saw a grenade, but then I was like, maybe I'm wrong. It's still not G, but... Oh, it is? It is six. Okay. Well, that's something I probably won't use very often. Well, it's there. It's good to, like... Situational. Yeah. If nothing else, you throw it and it stuns him for a moment. Shot him right in the butt. <laughs> God, what's that stench? They just activated the decontamination protocols. With the staff still inside. <clears throat> nope. This is where they studied the various relics unearthed here. We haven't been able to decipher much of the language yet, but the visual documentation gives us some ideas as to what they were studying, namely us. They seem particularly interested in early humanity's evolutionary process, judging by the way they organized their files and highlighted specific occasions. Uh, it seems a bit fantastic to write this, but everything indicates that they seemed to be wanting to chart the curve of humanity's intellectual progression. What did they find? More than I could describe in a short conversation. Scratched the surface. There are vaults filled with Prothean data troves that have never been studied. That's the tram line. Takes us right to the archives. No doubt Cerberus has it locked down. Hopefully we can override it at the security station. It's just through here. Uh, continue. That's just a shotgun. Can I... Thank you. Heads up! That's an understatement. I take it that's the only way in. It's the only way I know of. We we'll skirt around it. Stay out of its sights. I'll move up first. Don't let it target you!
that's a problem. <laughs> oh, you killed your friend. <laughs> I just saw his face stick out and I'm like, well, you're dead now. the archives and I doubt they'll just send us a tram can you override it the archives are on a separate network we're completely locked out not if we can find a short-range communicator helmet to helmet and and we convince them that we're on their side tell them the Alliance forces have been taken care of good idea see what you can find what the Major has become very capable. Agreed. Commander, I found something. What have you got? He's got a transmitter in his helmet. If I can... My god. Looks like a husk. Yeah, not quite. They've definitely done something to him. And by they, you mean Cerberus? They did this to their own guy? Is this what they did to you? No, it's nothing like that. Hayden, I'm still me, but I've got a mission, and I am not gonna force you to come along. I'm with you, Commander. I just wanted you to know why I'm... Come on. Let's see if we can get them to send that tram over. They just gotta stop questioning me. Hello, this is Delta Team. Anybody there? <laughs> Where the hell are you been? Never mind, what's your status? We're at the tram station, waiting for extraction. All hostiles terminated. Roger that. Echo Team will ride over and secure the station. Think they bought it? They didn't. They'll figure it out soon enough. We should get in position. Flank them when they get off the tram. Good thinking, Major. Can I move, please? Yeah. Oh, it wants me to... Got it. There. Oh, it's like a little tutorial. It's like, press Q and E, and I'm like, I don't want to! Got it! Affirmative! Oh, there's stairs. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Here they come. You're very cute, though. Oh. Job. Okay. Got it. All right, cool. I like the in game cutscenes now. Yeah, it's nice and fluid. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I love that. 
<laughs> Reactions. Oh, I pulled him out! <laughs> oh, you pulled a couple of them out. That's fun. here for a sec. Let me give that dude's head. Borderlands? Yes. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. Oh, yeah, that's what you should have said. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. <laughs> they were like, oh. The Vindicator. All right, hold on. I'm okay with your guns. I think I'm going to switch this out for just the basic guns so I get some more recharge speed. Because I'm going to be using my assault rifle most of the time. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. God, you're deluded. You've gone too far. The Reapers will kill us all if we don't stop fighting each other. I don't expect you to understand, Shepard, and I'm certainly not looking for your approval. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose, 
And despite our differences, you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara? Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. I won't warn you again. Duly noted. Shepard! What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it! How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. <laughs> Made him carry a Cerberus rifle. Hey! Step away from the console! Now! Ah, uh. Katie, you suck. She's got the data. Shoot her in the butt! She's faster than she looks. Yeah, the game won't let you shoot her. It's fine. No, don't do that. Open the. Stop it, Shepard. Woman. Normandy's on route. They'll be here soon. <laughs> Yes. Man, I'm buff. You're ripped, dude. I wonder if Thane wanted me. <laughs> <laughs> Giggity. He's like, you're some kind of woman. Who she do? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, I mean. Caden needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Caden. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Would that all be Ashley if it wasn't? Okay. Commander. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Major Elenko was critically injured. We're taking him to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Commander. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Major Alenko? I've done what I can for him, but we need to get him to a medical facility soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers, yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. Yeah, it's hard to believe. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our options? You know we can't win this conventionally. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Caden and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking him? Where it's a memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. <laughs> Captain Bailey, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. 
though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. <laughs> now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. That's a good idea. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. All right, now we can explore a little bit. <sighs> How you doing, Cappy? I'm okay. First deployment is somewhere near Palavan. Reports say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data packet counts. So, how am I supposed to talk with you then? You're not. Ma'am, I can't say when we're deploying or where or why. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it docked. It was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? She did, didn't she? Why would she be here unless she's seeing the council? <laughs> What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. <laughs> I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience, but that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? <sighs> Let's do a trial run. Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. No, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. You're not in the military. Yeah, that's, that's just so condescending. Bad, yeah. I could use some good PR, but she's. Yeah. War asset acquired, Diana Allers. She's not a war asset. Nah, she's just a reporter. She's a pain in the ass, that's what she is. <laughs> so many Garrus is everywhere. Yeah, Garrus is <laughs> everywhere here, dude. Commander Shepard. You're gonna go to the hospital or to the embassies? Let's go to the hospital first. And then we'll go to the embassies. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Oh, this is such a good ongoing story. So, the nurse tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. Wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. Does she think she's a uh, our dot Yakshi or something? No, we come back periodically when we come back to the hospital. I'll stop by and she'll oh, okay. continue her storyline. She, I feel like that character right there has like a really interesting storyline. I feel like as far as eyes changing color, the only time I've ever seen that was with. 
It's the whole, like, embrace eternity and their yeah, eyes go yeah, solid yeah. black. But that's not exclusive to R.Yakshi. Oh, okay. All of them do that. To All of them do that. Oh, whatever. Peruvian whiskey, yeah. Out of jail capacity upgrade. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How is he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. What have you been up to? It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Now, this this is a decision that is permanent. So I can either have her work on being in the Normandy or work in the labs. Right. There's another doctor, this one. And depending on what you decide here, the other doctor does the opposite one. That's technically... I didn't talk to her. That's Dr. Michelle... That's the doctor from Mass Effect 1 that Garrus was defending. Remember when I walked in and Garrus was in a gunfight with somebody and that yeah. was the first time I met him? That's that doctor that he was defending. But it, it doesn't really matter. It's more just a choice no, of no, like it's, it's who like, you want on the... It's a personal preference, yeah. Well, I'd rather have Dr. Trockwas nearby because she's the one I know and like. Okay, you want her on the Normandy? I do. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. Yay! That's not the word, but welcome aboard. <laughs> Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. <laughs> and I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Michelle is now gone, because now she's in the labs. I'm cool with that. I don't know Dr. Michelle. I know Chocolates. I like her. Yeah. Oh, I know. There's Michelle. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I'm med physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. Is he okay? How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just under all. Yeah. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital in the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. I like that, except other than, like, I've got to go now. Yeah. Yeah. Much better. Narrow splints still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. I was like, who's talking? <laughs> So there's nothing to investigate yeah. in here. I'd rather just go in all the rooms to check stuff. 